Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mushroom Bernie, guys. Another video, guys. Welcome back to the channel. This video is for all the Christmas noobs out there that are getting into the game and they want to learn a few tips and tricks. So I'm going to be playing this game live and I'm also going to be trying to give you guys the best tips and tricks that I possibly can give you uh, while doing this game live. So it's going to be a little difficult giving you guys tips, but starting off the first gun, I don't know, for me... I really did enjoy the ARs in this game. I haven't really touched the submachine guns that much, but the M4A1 is my favorite AR. Um, that's probably one of my my best. Oh, here I hear claymore. Claymores. You gotta put claymores at doors too. That's another like good starter class setup is claymores, just because if you like to camp a lot, if you if you don't die too often, claymores are really good because eventually someone's gonna run into it. But uh, if you die a lot, then your claymores just disappear after so long, so it's not really worth it. But if, if you can stay alive, which I'm gonna try to do. I'm going to play this map on the edges of it, but I want to give you guys my first tips. When I first jumped on the game, I'm going to be honest with you, you're probably going to feel like this too. The game is extremely hard. It's hard to get kills. It's hard to stay alive. It's just because you get melted extremely quick, and there he is. you don't find rotation. Ooh, melting kids, man. That's why this is my favorite class setup. So I will show you guys in the next video my favorite class setup that I use with the M4A1. Um, I just feel like it, it laser beams everybody. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, I feel like when you first jump on the game, it's going to be extremely hard. You die a lot. But the thing is, is you got to remember that you got to learn the map. That's literally the first thing that you need to do is go around the map, learn the map. So don't sit there. Uh, I know it's going to suck and you're going to die a lot, but don't sit there and, and hide at one spot of the map. As you can see, I'm using the whole entire map. I'm on their spawn. I'm just using their side. And watch watch a lot of videos because the more videos you watch, you can see what good players like to do, where they like to go set, set up at, and stuff like that. And you can you can learn from them. Oh, crap! There's kids right outside this wall right here. There. Oh no! I died by a freaking grenade that he was charging up. All right. Well, at least I got my chopper gunner, so we're gonna call out the chopper gunner. But yeah, guys, like I said, uh, let's do it over here in this corner. Like I was saying, the best way to get good at the game is learning the map. When you first get on the game, just because you don't know the map and there's kids that have been playing the game for like two months before you, they know the map pretty freaking well. They know where to rotate, they know what rooms to look in, they know what windows are open, they know where people like to sit and hide at. So that's one thing that I want you guys to do. If you want to get better at the game, you're going to have to sacrifice like the first two days, three days of playing the game, maybe even a week. The first week of playing the game, you're going to have to sacrifice dying a couple of times as long as you can learn the map you can hang around the outside skirts of the map uh that's usually my play style that i like to do just hang around the outside jesus christ they shot me down quick but you can hang around the outside of the map uh that's one good tactic that you can do as you can see i'll never push towards the middle of the map and i, I can just pick these people off from the side of the map like that's all people like to do is sit around the side of the map oh, let me see if i can get an angle on this kid where'd he go Whatever, I'm not going to stay out in the open too long. So that's another thing that I don't like to do. Play more at the stairs or the door again. And then I don't like to sit at a certain spot for too... Oh, shit. Enemy care packages Ooh, this shotgun is amazing. I'll show you guys my favorite class setup, and I'll show you why I like this class setup. But I've been rocking this class setup since literally the first week of the game. Like, I have not changed my setup. Even with the game nerfing weapons and buffing other weapons, I've still rocked the same exact setup because of that reason right there this gun is just these two guns wombo combo is just amazing like you can't really go wrong with it oh my goodness like look at that i'm just melting these kids all right let's call that out there let me get out of here because you can die by your own little predator missile things that you call out um so yeah uh tips tips you need to learn the maps that's literally the first tip i want you guys to learn Learn the maps, get good with the maps, because if you don't know the maps, you're not going to play good at the game. And as you can see, I'm hugging the outside of the map. you got to be always paying attention to what flags the enemies have captured, so that way you know where they're spawning and stuff. This kid's going to come out. Okay. But yeah. I mean, hopefully you get in other Christmas noob lobbies, but you know people are going to... Jeez, the range on that is so far. And I got another freaking... No, another nade ended my freaking streak with the chopper gun. Alright, well, let me call out this chopper gunner, but yeah. Um, we'll stay in this bathroom. I forget where I'm going, man. It's hard to make a video on Call of Duty that I haven't done in a long time and also play it and give you guys tips and tricks. It's been a while since I've done this, but I'm going to make a whole series of tips and tricks for you guys on this channel. So if you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, if you want to get better at the game, when ranked play comes out, I'm going to really get into the competitive scene of it. Not really like game battles and tournaments and stuff, but more ranked play. I want to get into like Grandmasters if they have it or anything like that. I don't know if they're bringing it or not. 
But these kids are really trying to shoot me down. I can't find any of them. The cool thing about the chopper gun is you can actually drive it so you can move it around. Damn, they shot me down so quick. Dang, they have no kills on their team. We are destroying these guys. Another C4, same door. I, I just like to put it at the same door because people will eventually run over there. Got him. But yeah, the reason... The reason, see, like, angles like that, man. See, sometimes you guys aren't going to see angles like that um, unless you actually, like, play the game or watch good people play, and they'll be able to show you angles that, like, other normal players won't be able to see. But now I'm going to tell you guys why I like this wombo combo, um, and then in the next video, I'll show you, um, break down each weapon and stuff like that and what attachments I put on it and the class setup. But for now, the reason I like the shotgun and uh, M4A1 combo is because the AR is it's a decent gun, medium to long range. Up close, it's not the best in the world, but it's an amazing gun, long range and medium range, so it just melts kids. So that's why I'm rocking this combo because the shotgun's for up close. So anytime I feel like I'm coming anywhere from close range people to medium range, I'll use the shotgun because the shotgun has range. The 725 has so much range on it to the point where it's like the shotgun's anywhere from low range to medium range. So like they, they combo with each other. So whatever weapon that the AR weakens in or isn't good in, the shotgun actually makes up for it. So... That's why I like it. Plus that, that shotgun, even though it's only two shots, it still dogs, dogs people. Oh my gosh, bro. I feel like they're just camping back there now. All right, well, let's go check over here. Of course, someone's up top. Jeez, Louise. This is this is where they turn it around because they have A and B flag. And if our teammates aren't really playing objective and they don't want to capture it, they're going to come back. Oh my gosh, we just witnessed the guy commit suicide. What the heck? All right, anyways, some more tips that I can give you guys. Um, Honestly, not much. I mean, playing objective, the, the, it's normal Call of Duty tips and tricks. Now, this game is a little bit different because you do... Like I was saying at the beginning of this video, you do get melted extremely quick in this game. Like, you're going to die so fast, and you're going to like, bro, I had no time to react. Like, that's not, like, watch me kill these guys. Literally, I melt them in, like, a second. Sometimes I just look at them, and I put, like, it feels like two bullets into them, and they're dead. But it's just the way the game works. Like, a lot of people get melted playing this game extremely quick, because the weapons are extremely strong and stuff like that. So, I don't see anyone. I don't know where they're all at. Which, that's why I'm playing the flags. Like, I'm playing the flags as if the flags are uh, where they're spawning to try to learn where they are. But they have A and C. Oh, there's two right here. Oh, I gave up on that. There he is. So there's A and C. Watch this. See, close range shotgun. Anytime I get close range. And then I'll switch back to my AR and I'll just play the game normally. So that's what I always like to do. Um, the shotgun, sometimes, if you don't hit your shots... Like right there, you, you'll end up getting dogs. So you have to have a good shot if you're rocking the shotgun. If you don't have a good shot, you're going to hate the weapon. So again, this is everyone has their own personal preferences. But if you have a decent shot and you know you can actually like flick it with the controller or mouse or keyboard or whatever you're playing on, you're going to realize that... Uh, I feel like someone's around here somewhere. You're going to realize that the shotgun's not for you if you can't do that. Oh my gosh, I knew I should have checked back there. I, I was thinking that if my teammates were there, they weren't going to find them, but whatever. All right, let's go. We got to capture B. All right, so now I'm going to start playing. Oh my gosh, my shot was crazy. Now I'm going to start playing a, a little bit of OBJ because we're about to lose this game if we don't capture B flex. So I'm going to go middle map, but the whole game, you guys notice, I hug the outside of the map, like right here. And usually I'll still hug the outside of the map even when I'm playing objective because I'll try to flank around or I'll try to like take control of back alleys of the map so that way I can uh, start to uh, take control of the back alleys of the map so I can actually like have my teammates push mid map and focus on that. Like if I can control the back alleys then I control movement in the map. The middle of the map is just so hectic, there's no way you can really control it. Um, so controlling the back alleys, like the sides of the map and stuff like that, that's when you have control of the map, because you can rotate that way, you can have your teammates spawn out there, you can have your teammates spawn. Oh, he almost melted me. Wait, what? Was he just looking in that window waiting for me? Whatever. It's okay, it's okay. We gotta freaking get B-Flag. If we don't get B-Flag, we're gonna lose this game. And I do not want to lose my first freaking Christmas new video game. I don't think there's any Christmas snoobs in here though. I literally just got melted so quick. 
That was extremely quick. 48 kills. I can drop a 50 bomb. As long as I drop a 50 bomb, I'll be happy. Two chopper gunners and a 50 bomb. That's not a bad game. Enemy cruise missile. Yeah, but I haven't seen any Christmas loot. Jeez Louise, man. I'm just getting dog now. I have not seen any Christmas noobs yet. I've been playing. This is like my fourth game on. Um, and I haven't seen any Christmas news, which is pretty surprising to me. Maybe Christmas news might not be a thing in this game. Dude, I am getting melted. I don't know what's going on. And all right, all right. I'm not going to blame the game. Maybe I just suck and I'm just missing my... Sh this is where I start rage quitting. When I freaking can't do anything because like I'm just getting dogs by every single person on their team like where did they step up at now they just took the lead oh, there's nothing i can do man i can't get a my teammate's not really doing anything to get b this is gonna be a hard game let me let me try to go get b actually i should push up for a if i can get a I don't know. I don't know where to go. Let me, let me try for B again. Alright, I'm good. I'm chilling. No, see, look, look at that. Why are they coming from my spawn? Like, that's where I need... Well, of course, we lost the game. I dropped a 50 bomb, though. I mean, their team really just went off at the end of the game. I can't really complain about that. But, ooh, I got the final kill of the game, which is play of the game. Got a guy on flag. Got a guy just chilling. And the head glitcher right here. Hit him with the juke moves. Got the kill. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I will be bringing you guys more tips and tricks. My first tip to you guys, expect to die a lot. Learn the map. Get good at the map. And then you'll get good at the game. I promise you guys that. Um, I know it's going to suck. And I know it's kind of a... You, you kind of want just tips where it's like automatic win or how do i automatically win gunfights those tips will come but this is the first tip you need to take in is you need to learn the map because with you not knowing the map you're not going to know how to play and you're not going to really be that good of a player so hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you in the next video peace